Not too long ago, I had the uh, joy of tattooing a very uh, Texan gentleman named Robert, and his his request um, was interesting and also a little bit chaotic and also changed in the middle of the process. So it's been a fun ride. Started out with the lower arm where I wanted to do something that had like a tribal pureness to it. So I filled his lower arm with uh, spearheads and then um, the basic structure for some massive uh, bind room pattern design thing that, that I, well, I actually came back to that and completed it later, but I had the start of it down. After that, moved north and added a pattern on his arm, based on several different patterns, but mainly on a pattern that is on a hogback gravestone from Cumbria, from St. Mary's Church. Yes. Because um, there's loads of, uh, of Viking Age art from the, the Norsemen that has been scattered around up here. Such a brilliant pattern that I've never seen anyone else use that I decided that I was going to be the one to be thieving it and using it. Um, also because I could wrap it around the whole arm, which was really cool, made me very happy. It looks pretty good. And then I packed that full of bind drones at a later time. Now the change that happened was I had one idea about what was going on the shoulder, Robert had another idea, and we ended up on a third thing. Um, luckily we ended up on a third thing that was really cool, a giant raven. As you know, there should always be a giant raven on someone, so fuck it. So above the um, woven armor piece, I made an armband, which is very classic Mammon style repetitive weaving. Um, and then I added a tiny Bronze Age inspired triangular band around. Above that to kind of give give some life to the raven, uh, I added a Mammon slash Yelling inspired dot work design that isn't really, it's not anything, it's just ornaments, like plant life going nuts um, as a space filler, but it's a really nice space filler because with it I got to give the raven some movement. The style and the sleeve is, of course, it's clearly my work, but it's, it's a bit of a mix of different things and it was one hell of a challenge to do to get these styles to collaborate with each other and have like a nice complete flow. I did end up having the right density throughout the whole piece, which I'm very happy with. It was a really, really nice and different thing, a different path to walk down. And yeah, Robert dealt with it perfectly. He put up with, uh, with everything I threw at him, including confusions and changes to designs and all these things. He seemed like a very, very happy man when he left the studio and um, to be honest, I'm quite a happy tattoo artist.